International Criminal Court is now in session. The trial chamber appointed to hear and determine the two Kenyan post-election violence cases had given ICC prosecutor Fatou Ben Suda and the defense teams of two of the four suspects, Uhuru Kenyatta and Francis Mudaura, until Thursday, September 6th, to file a first joint submission on agreed facts ahead of the trial scheduled to kick off on 11th April next year. And the three parties beat that deadline and submitted a list of 34 uncontested facts in relation to the case in which Kenyatta and Modaura are jointly charged. Key among the uncontested facts was that President Moi Kibaki hosted a group of national youth leaders at State House on November 26, 2007. Among those in attendance at the State House meeting were Ambassador Francis Mudaura, Stanley Murage, Hislop Ipu, Cyrus Gitwai, Mohamed Kuti, and Yvonne Hamati. The prosecution has alleged that it was during that State House meeting that retaliatory attacks against perceived ODM supporters in Naivasha were planned. The prosecutor has also alleged that the youth leaders who attended the State House meeting were members of the proscribed Mungiki sect. However, President Kibaki, in a letter to the Hague-based court during the confirmation of charges hearings last year, confirmed that on 26th November 2007, he had hosted national youth leaders who had organized a youth rally at the Uhuru Park the previous day to drum up support for his re-election bid. He termed as reckless and irresponsible claims by the prosecutor that the youths were members of the Mungiki sect. The president also rubbished claims that the State House meeting was used to plan retaliatory attacks against ODM supporters. The honors will now be on the prosecution to prove that the State House meeting was criminal in nature as it has alleged and prove beyond reasonable doubts the crimes against humanity charges against Kenyatta, Mudaura and two other suspects, William Ruto and Joshua Arab Sang. The trial chamber has urged the parties to the post-election violence cases to continue deliberating and establish more areas of commonality to help speed up the trial process when it kicks off in April next year. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.